Have a nice day, everyone. Okay, class. Um, last discussion, we discuss about the moral and non-moral standards. So, as far as I know, you can determine what is moral standards and non-moral standards. But today, we are discussing about culture and moral behavior. Ano nga ba ang papel ng culture sa moral behavior ng isang tao? Paano ito naapektuhan? Malalaman natin yan mamaya, iisa-isahin natin. Culture reflects the moral values and ethical norms governing how people should behave and interact with others. Nandun yung moral values and ethical norms. Kapag sinabi mo kasing ethical norms, these are the rules or laws that govern a group's or a society behaviors. Ito yung mga kung standards na kailangan nating sundin, yung mga basehan kung ito ba ay tama or mali. So, kasabi ko nga kanina, ano nga ba ang papel ng culture? Alam na, sa pagkakaalam ko naman, alam natin na ang culture ang siyang dahilan kung bakit nagkakaroon tayo ng hidwaan sa ibang mga kalahi or The different aspects like religion, kung ano ba yung mga basta pagkakaiba, nagkakaroon tayo ng misunderstanding at minsan na misinterpret natin yung kanilang mga paniniwala. Paano natin to may handle as moral behavior? As long na alam natin ang tama at mali, ma-handle natin ang isang sitwasyon, especially when it comes to differences in culture. Culture describes a collective way of life or way of doing things. It is the sum of attitudes, values, goals, and practices shared by individuals in a group, organization, or society. Cultures vary over time periods between countries and geographic regions. And among groups and organizations, culture reflects the moral and ethical beliefs and standards that is that speak to how people should behave and interact with others. Sabi nga nila, hindi maiiwasan ang judgment, like Philippines versus Western countries. Sa kanila, okay ang ganito. Sa atin, bawal. Pero, parehas lang sila na okay as long there is ethical norms na standard. Ang kailangan lang natin gawin is to avoid judgment. Interpretation of what is moral is influenced by cultural norms. And different cultures can have different beliefs about what is right and wrong. According to the theory of cultural relativism, there is no singular truth on which to base ethical or moral behavior, as our interpretations of truths are influenced by our own culture. Yen nga, we have different perspectives. Hindi natin hindi natin masisisi kung bakit nagagawa nila ng ganun, kung bakit nagagawa natin ng ganito, dahil nga meron tayong own culture. Ang laki ng papel ng culture sa ating moral behavior, dahil dito natin may papakita on how to respect them and vice versa for us. Sa culture, nahati ang isang bansa. Like our own country. Nagkakaroon pa rin ng misunderstanding and hidwaan sa pagitan ng ating mga kalahing muslim. Meron silang ibang paniniwala and different rules. Pero hindi natin sila masisisi kasi yun ang kanilang own culture. Hindi masama ang magkaroon ng sariling culture 
Basta't walang, wala silang natatapakang kultura ng iba. So, ang role ng isang tao sa iba't ibang paniniwala ay kailangan matutong rumespeto at tanggapin na mayroon silang ganoong paniniwala. No matter what happen, we should know how to balance right and wrong and accept the reality that own culture brought different perspective. So, here are some key terms that will help you in the lesson. Number one, ethnocentric. It is the idea or belief that one's own culture is more important than or superior to other cultures. Number two, moral relativism. It refers to any several philosophical positions concerned with differences in moral judgments among different people and across different cultures. Number three, norms. It is the rules or laws that govern a group's or a society's behaviors. This is where culture interacts with ethics, since interpretation of what is moral are influenced by cultural norms, the possibility exists that what is ethical to one group will not be considered so by someone living in different culture. According to cultural relativist, this means that there is no singular truth on which to base ethical or moral behavior. For all time, and geographic space. This, is, this approach is in contrast to universalism, which holds the position that moral values are the same for everyone. Cultural relativists consider this to be an ethnocentric view, as the universal set of values proposed by universal, universalists are based on their set of values. Cultural Relativism is also considered more tolerant than universalism because if there is no basis for making moral judgments between cultures, then cultures have to be tolerant of each other. Moral behavior is extremely subjective, but it is generally represented by an individual's knowledge of social and cultural norms and the capacity to perform good works through selfless actions. Some moral behaviors may include honesty, giving to charity and avoiding negative situations. Because of its subjectivity, morality is difficult to define, but certain actions are critical indicators of what society views to be moral acts. For example, avoiding lying, cheating, and stealing is indicative of moral people as they are attempting to refrain from committing action that could be dishonest and hurtful to themselves and others. Moral behavior also often involves altruism and attempting to always do the right thing is one of morality's most prominent characteristics. The French and Americans have different views on whistleblowing. Compared to the French, American companies consider it to be a natural part of business. So natural, in fact, that they set up anonymous hotlines. The French, on the other hand, tend to view whistleblowing as undetermining solidarity among co-workers. The conclusion in this lesson, culture in moral behavior, is that culture is a known concept to the general and academic world. It has played a significant role in shaping people's behavior and ultimately in human evolution. Culture is a mound that shapes people, influencing all individuals under it, whether consciously or subconsciously. The relationship of culture and human behavior is complex if viewed from different standpoints. The diversity of culture and the study of it brings to light the complexities of human beings, especially in our behaviors. Generally, culture affects individuals' behavior, and in individuals' behavior, 
affects the culture he is part of. So, it is just like a cycle. Vice versa. Ganun. If the culture affects the human behavior, then the human behavior itself affects also the culture. Culture evolves when people incite change on an aspect of their culture, resulting in a change throughout time. Changes in culture are usually minimal because of limiting factors such as geographical reach and acknowledgement of the majority in the same culture.